There is this man that you could say I am obsessed with. However, it is a healthy obsession. And how is that? Well, he has the demeanor of a living Buddha. He kind of looks like Gandalf. He has a voice of a male angel. And he has accomplished so many amazing things. And it is my belief that he has read this book that I will uh, read from, that I'm making into an audiobook from front to back, from back to front, many, many times. And I base this on a couple of things. I have seen a video uh, of a sneak peek of the production of one of the greatest songs that has ever been produced and released. The title of his recently released book is used in this particular book and the name is a combination of words I haven't seen used in that way before. So before I saw this book, the title of this book. Another thing is the fact that this individual was very much into magic when he was younger and it's just it's also kind of an uh, intuitive hunch. Uh, that I have around it uh, a short story so I was watching an interview with this man and um, someone had put together uh, multiple clips of his life and what he has accomplished so far and in there was the production of, of this song this book is mentioned and I could have sworn that I have seen him holding the book in this clip. And so when I went out to check it out and to look for where he is holding this book, I couldn't find it. And I was like, how is this possible? Because in my mind's eye, I could clearly see him holding this book. In the end, when I released the idea of where I thought I would find it and just allowed it to be an inspiration so that I could find it, I found the clip and it was a completely different setting. And still how it was put together, the clip, because he isn't holding this book, there are a couple of frames where you see the artist, you see the book, and after that frame, you see him walking around with Paolo Santo and he's doing some kind of a ritual, which I thought was really amazing how my memory of it was different. So there are obviously a couple of reasons why I remember it this way. I don't want to go into that. That might be for a different video. Now I want to share with you something else. So I decided to make this book into an audio, as I said. And while I do not necessarily agree with all that this book has to say, so I love the main gist of the book. The main gist of the book is, if you want to perform magic in your life, then you have to know yourself. Because if you don't know yourself, you can never control any of the elements needed to consciously create anything in your life it is also the poetic way how this man has written the book he expresses himself very beautifully i also love that it was written a long time ago in 1888 and i love how many synchronicities i have experienced with this book and since this book you know that I love the teachings of Seth and Bashar. So what I will do is I will add commentary either in written, so in text on my blog, or as an audio in addition to the audio of the book. I'm not completely sure yet. We will see what wants to be. I have this beautiful piece from the book Magic White and Black written by Franz Hartmann that I want and will share with you now. To recognize the divinity in humanity is to become divine. 
to behold the realization of the highest ideal within one's soul is divine adoration. To desire not the possession of any creature, but to adore the Creator within them all, including oneself, is worship. To recognize and enjoy the harmonies of the universe manifested in nature is divine praise. To let the unity of will, thought and law be restored within one's soul is true meditation. To rise above the illusion of self and sacrifice oneself to the God of all is true prayer. To realize the truth within one's own heart is to dispel the clouds of error. To become nothing, oneself is to enter into that higher self-consciousness which constitutes man's divine state. If this grabs you, you might be wondering, when will this be finished? I cannot answer that now. What I can say is whenever the time is right. You can obviously go ahead and start reading the book already. Give yourself the command that you will only take from it that which serves you. As I mentioned before, there is some amazing knowledge in this book. And in addition, in my opinion, there is also some limiting belief provoking material. If you have any questions about the book, about the material that you would like for me to discuss, just make notes and share it with me either through email or in the comments when everything is live. It is my pleasure to assist you in uncovering the meaning within the meaning. This is it for now. I will see you very, very soon.